I know you guys might be getting tired of these, but I'm back with another quick update in odd classes, baby. And today we have, uh, or rather I have, you guys didn't do shit. Put in four new items into the game. And yes, we have items now. Ooh, so cool. So here is our shopkeeper guy. Obviously he's very lackluster. He, he doesn't even move right now. He's just a statue. Nope. All right, so if I interact with him, we can see that in the shop there is four items that you can buy very cool and i want to showcase them all today so first of all it's a pair of boots it's a lifebound greaves now i'm not gonna explain what these things do because you can just read them right here the description is this is yeah the description is right there man uh, uh, uh. this gives me plus 200 health and the passive effect is for every full 40 percent of the uh for every full 40 jesus christ i can speak as always for every full 40 of the additional 200 health you still have your walk speed increases by one some of the wording might be a little confusing i recognize that so if you don't know what this means um ah, ah, good luck i guess okay let me just buy it uh the shopkeeper say that uh we know we don't have enough rocks and as you can see up here we indeed do not have rocks but it's in my inventory now because you know i i haven't coded the money system in it so now we do have the lifebound greaves and if you pay a little close attention we do walk a little bit faster and right now we also have 200 more health so let me just attack this golem so the telekinetic usually has less health but as you can see that smash did barely anything to me so that's very cool uh he's charging at me okay i don't know why i just oh oh shit i hit each other oh my god it's so epic oh my god please throw a fucking rock at him please 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 throw a rock at him no bro you missed all right let's see the battle between these two ow as you can see yeah i can heal back my walk speed which is a very weird sentence but that's what the lifebound grieves or allow you to do yeah right next item now I've changed it to Warlord for the uh, next item because I think this item suits him the best. It's wait no not this one. Uh, well I was uh, I was I uh, I thought these two were in a in a opposite spots but apparently not. So the item I meant is the Flame Feather Sigil. And basically, it gives me 10, 10 extra physical damage, and the passive effect is. Upon dealing more than 5% of the receiver's max health 3 times in the span of 5 seconds, light them on fire for 8 seconds. Yeah, you might have a stroke reading that. But it's okay, let's buy it and not worry about it. And let's just see um, what happens. Once again, the shopkeeper says you don't have enough rocks, but the truth is I haven't coded a money system, so I do have it. So basically, um, to sum, uh, to to make it easier to understand what the flame feather seizure does, when you slash, 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 and you have to do that within five seconds or three seconds. Yeah, I think it was three seconds. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> slash, 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 within uh three seconds, and you light them on fire. Very simple. However, your damage that you are dealing must be higher than 5% of their max health each time. Does that make sense? Boom, there we go. Now they're lit on fire. Oh shit, are you, are you charging at me? Yo, holy shit, that was close. So I think this the bullets will like easier. Yeah, there we go. He lights on fire if you fire three times at him in the span of five seconds. Ooh. Don't don't do that. So as you can see, you also get an additional plus ten damage. Uh, don't ask why they are not like merged together. So it says thirty. Um, I I I can't do that yet. So yeah, this is the flame feather sigil. It's a uh, it's very hot. If you know what I mean. Okay, that job was terrible. You know, let's 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 just, let's just go to the next item. Now the next item is uh the one we saw before, and I've switched to Black Hole this time. Uh, Black Hole doesn't really have any moves right now. The only thing he does have is this aura that you know does damage to things like around him. But there's a very good reason, as you can see, he does two core damage each time uh, he's around somebody. 
I'm actually gonna, gonna die because, you know, I'm not doing a lot of damage and this guy is fucking me up. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, let's try not to walk into anyone. And oh shit, I think he's coming towards me. Yo, 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 yo. Get away from me. Okay. I'm damaging the shopkeeper. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, the next thing. Or next... You can just call it next if you want. I have to keep walking around because like I don't want to damage them accidentally and anger them, you know what I mean? So this one says that all of your core damage output is granted a 35 additional percent damage. So what this basically means is it, 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 it makes your core damages output higher. Yeah, it's, just, it's just that simple. But core damage is one of the strongest um damage types in the game so this this is a very broken um item if you use it properly so right now we should see yeah an additional 0.7 core damage is added to our total um total damage output because we are doing four damage it's not a lot because it's only, we're only doing two from the base there's also one other damage source I can think of right now that does core damage and I'm about to show you. So the nano soldier is actually uh, able to do core damage. And you might be asking, wait, how? I've never seen that before. Well, that's only because you haven't really used the character that well. See, when you activate this this mode, which makes your uh, sword all light up and you deflect an enemy attack, you actually do core damage. So let me just show. As you can see, you do do you do deal core damage uh, if your blade is lightened up and you deflect an attack. Okay, Nano Soldier is not really good against patrol leaders because you know it's hard to maneuver. And he's just stab they're just stabbing me, man. All right, so since it's core damage, Unethical's Nexus Surge also affects that. So let me buy uh, Nexus and we can rush in and try and use it on this uh, use it on this guard golem. Yeah. And let me just activate my light and blade. And then as you can see, there's two damage checks instead of one because well we do more damage. And we do a 35% increase core damage to the guard golem. Very cool. I ran out. Oh and we just killed this guy. And finally we are already on to the last item. And I'm not gonna actually switch classes for this one because this item was made specifically for nano soldier. Well, not specifically. You can kind of use it from for other classes too. But uh, if you're good at nano soldier, this item will greatly benefit you. So let's look. So it says technique, skillful karma, punish those who have wronged you dishonorably, and the passive effect is upon countering an attack with immunity, deflect back fifty percent of the same damage back to the enemy. So if you deflect or you immune an attack, you deflect back the, the damage. Very simple to read, um, very easy to understand, I hope. <laughs> so let me just buy this. So if I, if I do this to one of the guard golems, it won't just immune me, but it will also at the same time do some of the damage back at the guard golem, if you know what I mean. Right. I have to wait for it to recharge because I, <laughs> I just used it for nothing. So let me just hit this guy. Okay, now strike me down. As you can see, I do damage back at him now that I have technique. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now it's possible to kill them by just by timing your deflects. This is gameplay right here. Isn't this fun? This is awesome. Okay, let me go kill them for you. But wait, that's not the end of it, cause. Turns out, Telekinetic also has an immune ability, uh, which is this one, the, the knockback one. It, it makes you immune for like a few seconds. So if we buy Skillful Karma, and we attack a Guard Golem and deflect this attack, it will do the same thing. So, bam! Oh shit, he's gonna charge at me. I, I don't know why the charge attack didn't hit me. <laughs> okay, strike me down. I, I I completely missed that. This is embarrassing. Come on, come on, strike me down. He, how is he missing my fucking? Thing? There you go. I immune it, but um, telekinetic doesn't refresh the immune if you successfully, you know, 
counter it, like unlike nano soldier, so you can have weight. Uh, do it again. He just keeps missing. I don't know how. I think it's because I knocked him back. Ah, uh, there we go. Perfect. What a perfect immune. Oh shit! I I forgot. Uh, it's on. And now, the most broken thing of all: buying all the items all at once. I just realized if I have skillful karma, and I have uh une unethical nexus search, if I do the lightened uh, enlightened sword deflect, it will do so much damage back. Oh my god, <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, we also buy flame feather sigil because why not? And life boot, life bound greed. Boom. Now we have all four items. Yeah, I better implement a money system quickly or else I know some of you is gonna buy four and like bully all the other fucking players. <laughs> Lighten my sword and now I deflect. Oh my god, I do two, three different types of damage back at him. This is fucking crazy. Bam. Bam. Oh sh- Bam. Bam. No, I Okay, the animation didn't like blow properly, thank you. Yeah, the, now you're pretty overpowered. Not only do you have extra walk speed and, and more health, but you also do a bunch of other bullshit effects because, well, it's items. Strike me down. Bro, they're taking so much damage by stabbing me. It's not even funny anymore. Oh my god, I really just killed them by being by deflecting their attacks only. This is this is stupid. Yeah, so um treat treat the shopkeeper nicely. Uh, be good and have fun with the new items, boys. See you later.